Hello YouTube, it's Flower here. We're back with another Elden Ring video. And today we're going to be finishing up the Vare questline to get our bleed mask to round out our bleed build. And we're also going to take on the Lord of Blood, hopefully, in this episode. We're going to get a lot done today. So, let's get started. In the last episode, ooh, we actually took, we were told to soak a cloth in Maiden's Blood. So that is the uh, task at hand, believe it or not. So the easiest way that I've found to do it is to come to this Church of Inhibition. So if you've gotten all your sacred tears, you should already have this. If not, you just want to go to the Church of Inhibition, which was here on the map. And you can soak your cloth in this dead girl's body. Just like that, we travel back to this grace and go back to Vare. A lot of people will have you go like all the way back to the beginning of the game, but it's unnecessary completely. We're all about speed and like quickness this playthrough, getting to the meat of the game. Although to be honest, going to the four bell freeze and taking a teleporter back to the start of the game. It's pretty fun to get your revenge on the first boss if you couldn't beat him. Most people can't beat him and you only get one try. You go back and just murder him, the grafted scion. Oh, this is my turn. Odd in me. Ah, my lambkin. Hello! You've completed your final trial. I have. And with this, you are a formal inductee. Sick, sick, sick. A knight who will assist Luminary Mo Assist him, huh? I'm so sure. Of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. I don't want to. Be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Well, that sounds cool. Oh, so, sure. Here you go. Finger. What is he doing? Ugh, he's riding on me. Oh. Good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. <laughs> Never forget that feeling of I wonder if he like took off our nail. Ugh, gross. A luminary mode to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. That's freaking weird, bro. Wait, we're not done. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Yeah, that's what we came here for, dude. Thank you. Metal granted by the new mo Sick. We don't care anymore. Let's get this going. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Boom, we made it. Mogwin Palace. So. This is a very high level area. That's the map. Now, despite it being a high level area, we should be able to get what we want. Hopefully I can put one more point into my appearance here. Bam. Now. Whoops. We're gonna ride through the forest to go start our Vari quest line. We're also gonna be trying to find a grace. Alright, so these things will one shot me. Oh, maybe not one shot me, but they get kind of close. Point is, they get close to one shotting you. And they're scary as hell. Traveling on this left side, by the way, because there's some items we can grab that are pretty good. And you know, you might as well. Let's be careful though, this place is meant for high level. It will destroy you if you let it. Form of flies, that used to be a really OP incantation. Now it's just average, you know. 
the smithing stone here. Smithing stone nine, huh? Oh Jesus! We're gonna spam our healies here. And we're gonna get up this hill. This is the hill that is important. Now, some of you may know this as the farming hill. And if you don't know what this is. It's the other Grace Palace Approach Ledge. That is basically the end game farming area because if you have a bow, I'll go ahead and show it off. You hand it and you aim like such. You can hit that bird over there. He will come to you, and he will die. And you get a ton of runes. So, there's also this hill full of NPCs that give you a ton of runes. So if you murder all of them, and then rest of this ledge, they all respawn. And you can shoot the bird again, and then kill all the guys in the ledge. We're talking like 50,000 plus runes when you farm this. But we're not gonna farm because we seriously don't need to. Like, we're, we've are we already got a really strong build as it is. And the build's actually getting stronger here, so. For the Vari quest, you're actually gonna wanna come over here. Be very careful, because there's a bird that can aggro. I believe if you just walk here-ish, you'll get the first Vare to spawn without aggroing. I have to get a little... point is, you don't want to aggro the bird. Walk back this way so the bird hopefully doesn't freaking aggro. Oh, that's annoying. And you are spamming. You spammer! Probably gonna cause a bleed, but we're not too worried about it. Oh, we got the first kill. I believe we don't have to reload the area, but we'll see. We're gonna try to keep going. We're gonna try to take out this freaking bird. I say it's not easy though, man. A high level bird over here. Please hit it. Oh my god. You can hit the bird, please. Please don't murder me. Oh my god. First try, woo! You know what? We'll, we take those. Oh my god, there's a golden seed up here. We're almost max flasks. I completely forgot about this. Oh, if it even looks well, you know we have a horse. I believe that going up here does trigger the next white mess to spawn. that I can kill these dogs. Oh, 
Scheiße. Man, this is the bird that you cheesed, by the way. I really wish I had cheesed it before coming down here. Well, I did, but then I respawned it, if you remember that. Oh, please, Jesus Christ. Sometimes be a real pain, so I'm glad that I'm not getting absolutely wrecked by the birds this time around. If you grab this, but the next white mass should spawn here. I don't know if we have to rest at a grace though, so we'll check. If it doesn't spawn here, we'll find. We'll know that we do. Can we get on our horse. We can't. So yeah, th this should be working. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, cheeky. Yeah, we'll trade with you, buddy. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll cheat a bit. Sick. And this should be the one that gives you the mask. But at this point, you don't actually... Uh, you don't have to fight anymore. And this effect, if you look at it... Um... Slightly raises attack power when there's blood loss nearby, if you look at the very bottom text. Now, that is the same effect as our talisman, and they stack multiplicatively. Li multiplicatively, oh my god, Colin. And so what that means is, this one gives you 20, this one gives you 10. If they were adding, they'd be 30%. But they're really more like 32, 33%. I don't know what off the top of my head. So yeah, essentially, it's a lot of damage. It's more damage than you think. And it's, it's just absolutely broken. Mm. I've triggered the third fight, I think. I probably should have just fast traveled back to the Mobile Palace. Honestly, I'm not afraid of this fight, though. Oh, well, I'm afraid of that dog just freaking murdering me. Absolutely wrecked. Destroyed, even. My god. This guy is a clown. Alright, so, moving on. I'm gonna try to take out the area boss. He's a very high level boss. You probably don't want to fight this guy until you're very high level. But, that being said, we have a bleed build. And,. This boss, although he is Lord of Blood, you would think that he would be strong against blood. He actually bleeds very easily. And for some reason, he is a very one-shottable boss for bleed. So we're gonna show that off, hopefully. Show off why bleed is really good against this boss. But also we're specifically prepared for this boss because we did the Euro quest line. We need the, uh... This. Kind of tough if you do. Fuck up, do their thing. Oh, why am I heavy, really? Oh, no, that was because of the thing. So this, this merchant? There's actually an enemy that can spawn behind you. I think we already killed them, luckily, but... Oh, gee. I... Are you here as a customer? Which it is. We've got rune arcs and stone sword. I just bought all of them, even though they're way overpriced, because, uh, I never want to run out. Must apologize. I'll, 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 I'll... Yeah, whatever, buddy. It is very little offer. Oh, God. I bounced off the wall there and almost died for it. I'm 
down here that I think I want. Oh. Demon spawned behind us. Probably all I wanted, actually. So we can actually upgrade our young eaters follower. What is this? Big white mask bar is work. I haven't ever done. You know what? I haven't ever done this. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't ruin anything. I don't know where he is. Oh. Well, he's probably in here then. Put on a lantern, I guess. Where is he? Oh, this is freaking weird. Oh my god, he's right there. Seek violence. Heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty. To the very depths of my being. Your miserable death. That rose is funny. They're on fire? Wait a second. Burning your weapon away. Oh no, not you two, not the swarm. Interesting. Why have I not done that before? I've definitely seen videos on that. Oh my god. What a pose. Oh, luminary Moog. Please grant the strength you promised. I have given everything. Hmm. Please, my lord. Answer me, Luminary Moog. Bless the Moog wind in the star. Oh, Lord. Kind of sad. Sorry, is bouquet. Blood tax. Oh, it's a hammer. That's pretty cool. I'm sure that'd be fun to play. That that must be okay. Yeah, so that's probably the blood tax that doesn't take away HP to use. Test it. Yeah, no HP, just mana. That is actually super interesting. Kinda of awesome. Okay. Oh. Ah. I remember this. <laughs> so, if we kill all these enemies, we're gonna get access to something really, really broken. Oh 
are powerful, as you can see. It's like a boss fight on its own, to be honest. It'd be quite difficult. But you have a grace to keep retrying this. Eventually defeat these guys, and you're gonna get a really fun upgrade material. I just saw a bit of lag in our... Not a bit of lag in our OBS, so we're gonna stop the recording and start again. Are we back? Are we back? Okay. Anyway, hopefully it wasn't lagging for too long. But yeah, you come to this chest, you're actually going to get an ancient dragon somber smithing stone. That lets you get a weapon to plus 10. Now, we could use that on the Black Knife, but honestly, it's pretty OP as it is. I think we're gonna save it for a later weapon. Hmm. Well, this elevator is the Moog fight. But, we're gonna go back down because I forgot to prepare. This is not a pushover boss by any means. Physic. We're gonna get rid of this one. Done. That one. On it? No. Honestly, we're gonna put on the healing one. Cause or no, maybe. We'll oh, this is hard. Did I do the? Maybe I'll just get rid of really Okay, I will do this one. We're gonna put on the blood. The purifies the curse. And we're gonna put on the free hit. And we're just gonna try to summon our dung eater without. Like, with just by using our mana pool and using great runes. But we should probably level up if we can. One more point in arcane would be huge. Every bleed proc we can get is gonna be necessary here. We're just gonna be hard rocking the bleed. Now, to me, for some builds, this is one of the hardest bosses in the game. For our build, it's one of the weaker bosses. And hopefully, I can showcase what I mean by that. Now let's watch this pretty cool cutscene of the Lord of Blood. Nicola. 
You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. And summon the boy. Uh -huh. Pop a health pot and let's go destroy this guy. Freaking started off poorly. I didn't think he could reach me from there. I didn't think he could reach me from there. Oh man, what a way to start that. <laughs> I think we should rot him. We're gonna rot him. Okay, we actually need the rune arc to summon the boy. Did you want to pop a golden foot there? Because 420,000 runes? <laughs> we probably should have went and got a golden foot, if I'm being honest. But you know what? We don't need the runes that badly. But yeah, that was Moog. Go ahead and level up. Our arcane to 50. Or Vicka 40. Pretty good stats. And, uh, looking pretty strong. I wonder if I can put the twinned Reeves on. Well, we can. We actually lose. I didn't realize we lose so much poise if we did do that. Kind of keep our current loadout. Pretty crazy. That's Moog, and I think that'll be the end of the episode, so. Hope you all enjoyed. I don't know when the next Elden Ring video will be, but keep an eye out for it. We will definitely, definitely, probably be ready to take on the next main boss over in the foot of the forge, so. We're gonna fast travel over there, and, uh, 
go ahead and end the video. So thank y'all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed so far. Please subscribe, ring the bell if you want more Elden Ring videos or Smite videos. And who knows, there'll be more videos to come on different games. Uh, I'm Flower, and peace out, guys.